Hey guys, welcome back to more Young Justice Reaction. So in the last episode, the heroes actually took the W um, with Violet and Vic taking down Granny, as well as, you know, help from the rest of the Justice League and the team. That was really awesome to see. Last they kind of rushed it, Yeah, but it was still, you know, finally an episode that actually, you know, got us hyped. Mm -hmm. Even for it being rushed, it was yeah. still... It was still yeah. pretty good. But anyways, I'm excited to see what else they got in store for us. So with that being said, let's get on with this video. I believe it's now time to put our plan in motion. Which is... <laughs> I knew he'd buy you! Andy Mouse will be so Oh, it's oh. the kid again. Her voice is so weird. In related news, known as Cyborg, the newest outsider has already made a splash by releasing footage that places the blame for this media magnet, Gretchen Good. Yep, much expose yeah. that bitch. Actually Finally. Alien entity. Good's company, Good World Studios, has issued a flat denial of these claims. Flat denial. denial? Like, yo, you see it for yourself. They're probably like, yo, that's Photoshop. <laughs> yeah, they said special effects. I have. What? What? God damn, what the fuck? Is it because he's a redhead? <laughs> Who knows? Maybe she's got a thing for redheads. Maybe. Forager has made many good friends here. Wolf hasn't done shit this season. Besides sleep? He's just been sleeping. I will drop the psychic illusion. Oh! They're alien. It's an no, alien it's, town. It's not alien. Oh, it's the It's the Adams. Yeah. So that's, that's what cool. happened to them. <laughs> the outsiders view our primary role as inspirational. We he could be himself in that town. Yeah. I thought metahumans weren't permitted in Markovia. They're not. But I'm trying to change that. You both just need to be patient. Patient. <laughs> patient. The season's patient almost over. We simply must be patient. <laughs> <laughs> the three of them look Excuse nothing alike. Why are you speaking English if they're just by themselves? Mm. It'll leave you devastated all over again. Wait, what are you trying to do? I am begging you to reconsider. And you know, I never had the chance to say goodbye. I never. She wants to talk to Wally? She wants to get closure. The best I can do is help you meet him halfway. <sighs> Thank you. So. I'll be sending your soul to limbo. Nothing We're gonna get to see Ghost Wally. Your imagination creates. Missed ya. Wally. So if, if that's really him? If, if he's in limbo, that means he's dead. I thought he would be in the speed force. <laughs> this reminds me of something <laughs> <in> Teen Titans. <laughs> I think not. Beast Boy always gets left behind. The child is perfectly safe here, granddaughter. <laughs> granddaughter? And you are my grandson, for you are both the children of the children of my intellect. Is it because Mother Box and... Father Box? I think No, he's not Father Box anymore. He's but, Metron. Yeah, but he was not the Mobius tag. Yeah. So, you're really dead, aren't you? Let's not think about that now. No, he's not. I don't we believe it. Sunrise. Is it just me or this episode okay, also okay. feels kind of rushed? Well, yeah, it does. Like last episode. But our brother Connor gathered allies who liberated us from that place and... Damn, OG <laughs> Superman underwear. <laughs> Way back when. To this place. So oh, that's cool. cool. It's like an Noah's art. Arc. And then Which creation. Exactly what we have set out. Going to make the sun appear. It's her telling her, yo, it's time to bounce. Sunrise soon. Let it. I never want to leave. We are comfortable here, but the dream. Damn, it's moving really fast, to be honest. Jumping from one story to the next. When will you take the final step to help your own people? Ask yourself, Superman? Wow. What would Superman So this do? is Connor's arc? Is to lead the freaks? <laughs> we talked a little about having an it one day, but we could never agree on a name for a boy or a girl. I still like Wolf, by the way. Wolf West. Just... <laughs> Wolf, Wolf West. West? 
I like it. We're not naming our child after Connor's dog. <laughs> she has a point. Where? Let people in again. Or better yet, walk through it yourself. You haven't let anyone help you. Please. So does this confirm that Wally's not coming back? I and think he's not so. really in the Speed Force? That's fucking trash, dude. They really rushed that. This whole episode's rushed. They were like cramming so many. Well, this one, they were tying up loose ends. Yeah. Like they finished up this part and they're creating the Connor one. She was kind of a bitch in this episode to them. Yeah, earlier. I still can't believe you summoned Wally's ghost for her. I did no such thing. What? I told Artemis I didn't have that power. So what was all that? Then McGann. McGann created a playground, an open space in Artemis' mind. But so it's possible. Imagined. So it's possible Wally's still yeah, alive. Yeah, it is. Thank you. Thank you. That's all I want, dude. That there's a possibility of him returning. It's so he's he is in the speed force. Was a yeah. the average night. I, Baron Frederick de Lem, have taken the Markovian crown for the good of my nation. Lies to save it for from himself. The rule of my misguided nephew, Prince Gregor. Can Prince you legally though? do that? Luther had this to say. No, we will not lift you on restrictions that prevent of course not. from entering Markovia. This is an internal matter, and there are good people on both sides. Both sides. The solution involves it sounds like Trump. He does. I think that was a quote from him too, like mm -hmm. on both sides. Geoforce will lead the outsiders to save our homeland. Markovia, here we come. She's just gonna tell Slade. This was orchestrated by Slade. I like where the direction of this episode was heading, and I like the factors in it. But it felt rushed. Why are they cramming all of these story arcs at, like at the tail end of the season? Exactly. Like, like you, you had, had so many episodes. episodes to like stretch them out. But they stretched out like the villain arc. Yeah, like the anti-life equation, like they focused on that. Yeah. Majority of the season. And then they left these mini stories for the end. To like tie up, literally tie up loose ends. Yeah. I Dude, don't think this I, episode, this season was my favorite. No, for sure. Like, it was better off with Cartoon Network. I know. Like, which is surprising because. I know, you have you more have freedom here. You have your own here. platform to be able to do things your way. And then. But the, the, I guess maybe that's why, because there's no restrictions of what needs to be paced. Maybe that's where Cartoon Network know. came in. Whoever, or. Whoever had that job when they were with Cartoon Network to be able to keep up the pace and, you know, kind of organize the episodes accordingly, maybe that person isn't the same person here or whoever that person was just did a better job and with Cartoon Network beforehand. Another one that I don't like about this season is the animation. Like mm. comparing it to um, seasons one and two, Seasons one and two, like, were, were pretty smooth. Yeah, were pretty smooth. And I guess one episode I could think of was Dick's Fever Dream. Mm. I felt like it was nice for what it was, but I feel like there was a lot more potential because they did everything in slow mo. I don't remember. Major that's, that's, majority of the seasons, like, forgettable to me, to be honest. That's one thing I remember was that the Fever Dream, like, they, I think the reason why they did it in slow-mo is so they could focus a little bit more on on like the details of it. But, you know, them as younger selves weren't even talking. It was kind of like all in their heads. That's one thing I remember at least. So that's my take on that and that I feel like one of those bad animation ones was that episode. A couple of uh, good things that I can pick out from this episode is Wally. It's possible, you know, he, he could still return yeah. because the Wally here was created by McGann. McGann. A mix of McGann and um, Zatanna Zatanna's and, magic. And um, Artemis's mind. mind. Yeah. So that wasn't yeah. really Wally. That was just 
basically Artemis talking to herself. It was Artemis's daydream, essentially. Yeah. It was her psyche. Yeah. It was everything was literally all in her head. So yeah, the door to Wally is still open. It's not Via closed. Via the speed force, yeah. So that's good. And then another one is, uh, they created. I feel like they started a story arc for Connor here. Yeah. Like he's not just Superboy anymore. He's not just like Superman's clone. He's not Megan's just Megan's boyfriend, boyfriend. fiance. Like he has a mission now to like lead the genomorph people mm -hmm. and to kind of like shed a light on this community that exists but yeah. the whole world doesn't know it exists mm -hmm. you know i like that i like that they're finally giving like connor a sense of purpose yeah considering like you said he's just been um, he's just been their muscle <laughs> yeah he's just been the muscle he's just been like superman's clone superman's brother you know mcgann's boyfriend fiance just like the muscle of the team, the backbone essentially, like when it comes to the heavy hitting. Yeah. You know, but like when it came to like, you know, his mission itself, he never really wanted to step up to become Superman. He never wanted to take that leap. But he's always like, what would Superman do? How would Superman do this? Mm -hmm. So it's like now he's finally going to be that type of person to be a leader more so than just for kids but for a whole community as well mm -hmm. like he's like, great with yeah. with the outsiders he's great with handling you know another like mini him with brion and mm -hmm. like that's great to see it i like that they gave him that chance to that be that was like, like his teacher yeah moments. this is like his this is like actual, leader like, leader moment yeah like a superman type of role yeah. to take you know matters more into his own hands and not just like be a guidance in a sense yeah like he's actually there front and center rather than being like you said like a teacher yeah and i, I really hope they don't rush it like i, I mean hope... they're gonna have to put it next season yeah the but season's that's, over i know i hope that they can build on it better yeah i just hope next season improves because this one yeah was this one was i'm not gonna you know stop watching the series like, no of course I'll forever not. we'll for, forever love young justice it's just that like we you know we want better quality yeah. type of story or content because like for sure season knowing me like i'm gonna end up rewatching the season anyways yeah like for sure, it's not like like you said. I'm not gonna stop. I'm not yeah. gonna just, you know, stop here, throw it away, and be like, I'm never watching this again. Like I love Young Justice. I love the series. I just like you said. I just really wish they do better by it. Just because there's a lot of fans that are like us who, in a sense, grew up with this series, and you. We've been wanting this to come back, and now that it's here, it's like it's, it doesn't meet our expectations. It like what the hell? You know, yeah. and it's like you had all this time to prepare for yeah. it, and it's on your own platform. So, what are the hurdles? What are the restrictions? Is it monetary wise? You know, is it because, like, you guys, DC Universe itself isn't making enough money to be able to sustain this? Like, what I mean, is they it? They had to cancel Swamp Thing because it was too expensive. Yeah. I think, see, I haven't seen Swamp Thing yet, but from what I heard, like, season one was amazing like it was top notch but because of that you know dc universe couldn't keep up with the quality because of the budget so they canceled it i really hope that they would be able to i guess allocate their resources better than if that's the case if it's monetary wise because i can understand having monetary restrictions but if you would just put more and invest more yeah in, and this is animation you know, too like it's not like it's live action yeah you know you would understand more restrictions with that but here you're kind of more free to roam so again maybe it's just because we have high expectations for this and we might be yeah. like the expectations are but the expectations are seasons one and two yeah just like any other series that had older prior seasons, prior seasons before so anyways what did you guys think of this episode let us know your thoughts in the comments down below i'm ray i'm danny and we'll see you in the next video